Hello everyone, Night Guy here. Just received in this nice new piece. Uh, this is a Fantasy Edge dagger or short sword that I just got in. A little roughed up uh, on the packaging there. This tends to happen all the time. I'm always having cross guards bust through the box. So let's hope that's okay in there. There you go, another serial number. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy opened up and taken out. And here we have it. The dagger or short sword, you decide. And it's wrap. Let me get a close up there. Let me turn the light off. See if that'll... There we go. Natural light is always preferred to me anyways. So here we have the new dagger or short sword that I received in from Fantasy Edge. Um, I've been a big fan of these Fantasy Edge blades. I have a few of the cheapo sword machetes that they make. Those, you know, tactical, nylon, sheath, um, you know, stainless steel. They're pretty much all their blades are stainless steel. Um, you know, just throw over your back. Have a few of those. I have a few of the Fantasy Edge daggers. Um, biggest plus that I'll say about these bad boys tends to just be the uh, price in general. Uh, this one right here I got for 25 bucks. And I'm going to say right off the bat, well, what I already see, um, you know, for the money, I can't complain. This is a fixed fixed blade. Have a little, right here is a little um, hex bit to take it apart, it looks like. I'll go ahead and try that. Looks like uh, just a plastic handle, some form of cast, casting or cast metal on the uh, forward swept uh, guard there. And uh, looks like it's intact. It did break through the box. But it uh, looks like maybe just got a little scuffed up. So um, this is the cheapest one I could find. I uh, got it off of Amazon once again. Um, there's a few other options. And maybe due to the damaging on the package, maybe this thing was resold. Um, you know, maybe that's why. It looks pretty good though. Can't really complain. Just some scuffs. I'm not too upset about that. Let's go ahead and get that blade. And here we are. Very thin. There we go, Fantasy Edge. The mark right on it. Let's see if there's anything else on the other side. There you go. 440 stainless steel China. Made in China, I guess. Um, nice little... Nice edge on it. It is definitely sharp. A nice long 17-inch blade. Uh, one of the imperfections I noticed is in this point. If you could see there, it looks like it's just, uh, let's get it right against something. There we go. See, it's a little bent. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, sharpening tools out, see if I can uh, straighten that out. But there you have it. Um, they have a few other options. I'm going to get one more of these. Um, and once again, for the price, I really can't complain. I, I, I love how this looks. This thing's really cool. Nice little fantasy med medieval inspired uh, dagger there. Um, I've heard it, not heard it, I've seen it uh, labeled as multiple different names. Fantasy Crusader, uh, Templar. This one on eBay was uh, advertised as a King Arthur's short sword. Um, but anyways, my, my, my point being, recently I've really been into daggers. I'm going to get up close and show you that one more time. Um... And more specifically, longer daggers. Um, Fantasy Edge makes a lot of short ones, five, six inch blades, which to me is just a little short for a dagger. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I think this would make a decent uh, dagger, maybe even a decent short sword. I really only see you getting thrust out of it. It feels pretty solid. You know, it feels like it is a fixed blade. I haven't taken it apart to see exactly if it's full tang or not, but it does feel pretty solid. I will give it that. Um, so for the money, I can't complain. Let me know what you guys think. Night Guy here. Thank you for joining.